This is Pisac. This is one of the most mysterious sort of fortresses of the Inca. Clearly built at huge effort to guard the... Wade first saw this valley. view of the Inca's sacred valley almost 30 years ago. Wade, this is an absolutely spectacular setting. Since then, this area has That's become his oh, second yeah, home. I think what impressed me most when I first began to read the um, anthropological literature and to meet some of the local people was the idea that this really was a sacred place. They weren't speaking in terms of metaphor. You know, often when we think of sacred landscapes, it's almost metaphorical. Here, they really believed the earth was alive. I mean, that river is not just a sacred river, it is the veins of Pachamama. The Milky Way is its heavenly counterpart. When a shooting star flies, it's a bolt of silver, and silver is, a, is, is the tears of the moon. That mountain is an apu. That doesn't just mean it's a symbol of God, it is a God. And as long as you're in the shadow of that apu, it will direct your destiny. And, and this is something that people, I think, don't understand about the relationship of indigenous people in general to landscapes. They have forged through time and through ritual a traditional mystique of the earth that is based not on the idea of being self-consciously close to it, but on a far subtler intuition, and that is the idea that the earth itself can only exist because it's breathed into being by human consciousness. And what that means is that a young uh, Runakuna lad from the village of Chinchero uh, or from the Sacred Valley who believes that mountain is an apu will have a profoundly different relationship to it than a Canadian kid who's raised to believe that that mountain is a pile of ore ready to be mined. Traditional life is still strong in Chinchero a small town about an hour's drive from Cusco. Everything works in terms of reciprocal bonds that are never spoken about and never forgotten. And reciprocity takes a spiritual turn in terms of the, the reverence for the earth itself, the idea that you can't simply plant a field, you must give a blessing to the earth. You can't simply harvest a field, you must bless the tools. You can't simply chew the coca leaves, you must bless the apus and, and bless your colleagues. And everything is wrapped up in this relationship of community, spirit, and landscape. 